Hello everyone, and welcome to this painting uh, video for Dark Souls the Board Game's Gargoyle Mini Boss, where I will go over my opinions and of and the process of painting this model. Um, to start with, I want to mention the fact that uh, this model has been sped up a bit, or this video has been sped up a bit more than uh, previous ones, as I'm primarily only painting this model in two colors. Majority of it is the uh, dark brown that you're seeing right now. Uh, this is and this is what I end up using for the entire flesh and everything. Anything that's pretty much not its teeth, the bit of feathers, which I originally was going to use it for, debating, you know, the combination between flesh and stone of this creature, and uh, the armored hide, be it actual armor hide or actual worn armor, um, as well as the gray that I use on the base for all the mini bosses and bosses, uh, or anything that will be done for the um, separating arcs. Um, this model is being done in my darker paint scheme, which is primarily uh, at least two layers of dry brushed onto black. It's in order to make the model look more shaded and dark overall. Um, and again, uh, if you've watched any of my other videos for Dark Souls, this is how all the models for Dark Souls are being done, as it's a dark game, not just in name, but in theme and in lighting, uh, or at least the video game it's based off of is. Um, the majority of the model, well, as I said, is being painted in this brown, and it was pretty easy to do. It's just a lot of it. Um, when I get on to the armor, um, there's a. Uh, I wanted to originally do it in two layers, as I said I do with most of the model, but the first layer came out so nice that I decided to stick with it and did a minor bit of highlighting towards the end. Um, but otherwise, this just ends up, like I said, being majority of the model. Some people have been doing the spines on the wings differently, but I decided to leave them the same. And here we are with the um, almost teal-like color. Uh, it's a I believe the company that makes it refers to it as an arcane blue or something like that. I wanted to get a rusted copper effect. I was actually, now that I recall correctly, going to do this in three layers. I was going to originally do it in the color that you see now, then follow it up with a bronze, as it was the closest thing that I had to a copper, -er, and then highlight it even more, as I wanted to make it look like rusted copper. But this on black did the effect um, right the first time around, I felt. So I left it as is. Um, and that is honestly majority of uh, the, the second largest portion of the model. Um, the axe here, as well as the tail, which I think the video skipped through very quickly, I had a lot of trouble with because, as you can see, I have to brace it since they were both very flimsy to be able to paint at all. And, like I said, it made it very difficult uh, to do it, especially with the um, dry brush paint style, because that results in the brush itself constantly flicking around. So a flimsy piece like that is also going to constantly flick around. The rest of the model was very stable, and unlike the Dancer, or, which you'll see in a later video, um, is solidly stuck to the base, uh, I believe, on at least three points. And here I am just doing the simple, you know, paint the lines. The wings do get in the way of being able to see this a couple times, but this is how I end up doing all seven of the boss models, um, or and will probably do future ones. I'm not a big fan of basing my, mo my own personal models. I don't mind doing it for other people, but I, I like just leaving a flat base model, or a basic based model of just here's a black disc or something to emphasize that it is still a game piece. Then uh, I did decide to use a light gray on the feathers. After touching up the model and a lot of sp and a lot of um, overlap, I went with the tan like brown for the highlights. I think I feel I used it a bit too much, but it contrasts a little bit better against the um almost rust copper like color uh, in the end. So it wasn't what I wanted, but it still worked at the same point. Uh, after this, I end up using the same gray to highlight the um, shoulder pieces, so specifically the, and not really the shoulders, but the ends of the wings and the helmet and its ornamental parts. Um, oh, yes, and then the fact of the matter is I wanted to get the halberd highlighted in a metal color and not just leave it a flat black. 
here I go. Here it is uh, where I'm highlighting it. I was a little mixed about doing this as it blatantly brightened something up, but I was okay with the end result. I just didn't want to do as much as I was originally thinking and stop midway because I felt that it, like I said, it was brightening the model up a bit too much. And and that's the entire model, folks. Thank you for watching. Hing, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy it, feel free to uh, share it. Um, if you didn't like it, go ahead and press the dislike button, but please try to leave a constructive comment, especially on the painting up the model itself if you want to. Also, if you want to, feel free to leave a comment in general. And if you want to see more like this, be it other painting videos, uh, board game overview videos, or my unboxing videos, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.